guys. So I hope you guys liked that intro to Badwater Basin. That uh, B-roll was actually shot on my first go to Death Valley. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any B-roll uh, this time around when I visited Badwater Basin because I was shooting Milky Way that night. And for obvious reasons, gotta go with uh, what you got. So we will go over this image that I shot there. This is it, I hope you guys liked it. Let's go through the rundown. So when we got there, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to find what I was looking for. Highly recommend this Bushnell 300 head torch. It's uh, charge, uh, rechargeable via USB, charge in the car, um, or with a, uh, an, an external battery some, of some type. But anyways, so let's go through the rundown of my photo. So this is what I was looking for, this is what I got. I'm actually really happy with it. I wanted something extraterrestrial, something that looked completely out of this world. And this is what I came up with. What I did was uh, cool down the tones a lot to give it kind of that like uh, moon-like planetary vibe. And the composition here, fairly basic. I was looking for the biggest ridges there I could find that these salt formations have. And this one was actually pretty good, pretty detailed, had some good color, contrast, height, etc. So as you can see here, we have this strong triangle here in the foreground, which then leads your eye through here, all the way down this crack. I did some dodging and burning slightly just so you can be led right towards the Milky Way. And then the foreground is shot focus stack here and within this focus stack there are 10 images and uh, to reduce sharpness of course and then we focus stack here 10 images to reduce uh, noise and then 10 images here to reduce noise focus and then 10 images focused here to reduce noise so I wanted everything sharp from bottom to top and then of course 19 images stacked for the sky and this is what we come up with this is one of the nebulas here, this is Jupiter, and if you guys know what this area is, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked it. And now we're gonna go on to the mud cracks. I just have to stress that the audio was terrible. It was extremely windy. I'm gonna leave some captions, so bear with me. I hope you guys think the photo is worth it. Um, and then we're gonna go to Zabriskie Point and finish this series at Death Valley. Thank you guys. Alright dudes, this is uh, let's see, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, day three of our adventure, and it is approximately, no, it is exactly 3.32 p.m. The weather says 95 degrees right now, no big deal. We're on the search for the elusive mud cracks today. Uh, cool thing about Death Valley is, shouting at him, you know, you really have to work for your images here. It's, uh, it's, not, a, it's not a forgiving place. But, area that we went to last year we're gonna hope that uh, lightning strikes twice in the same place
I found... I found something good. Yeah, this is where I found him last time. So I found where I found him last time, and it's all washed up. We're gonna follow it. Then we see a few little things here. Check it out. Right here. I found a little patch of it. Look at this, guys! Hell yeah! Same spot as last time, but, uh... Basically, this whole stream was filled with cracks till the end, till as far as your eyes could see. But we're gonna keep going. Definitely heading in the right direction. Wow. How do you feel, Adam? Oh yeah. I know. I'll lift the spirits up a little bit, huh? So, this is what you guys are looking for. Find dry river flow. Going the right way. Please, if you find them, try to keep your feet off them. Keep them reserved for other adventurers and photographers like you and us. And you'll be alright. If not, the photo gods will come looking for you. Bro! Bro, we found him! Decided to uh, cancel on heading back to Sunrise at uh, Mesquite, South, uh, Mesquite Sand Dunes. So that's what we're going to be photographing. That little peak, we should be getting some nice help and glow there. It's 533 and the sunrise is at 548. There's Adam, Danny, and you do. Should be nice because we've had plenty of time to get ready. Last time I was here, it was pretty rushed, and uh, photos kind of worn up the car, but gotta get back, man. Should we go? So we're getting some cool greens in the sky here. Um, had the pleasure and time to uh, scope seven, about uh, six or seven compositions, and the goal is to know all of them within about a 10 minute span. We'll see how well we do. Time. T minus four minutes. While we're waiting here, we're just waiting for the sun to rise. Uh, in the meantime, just getting some close ups, some details, textures, trying to find some patterns. 